welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today's video is all about what you should and shouldn't be eating and what you should be eating when you're really craving all that naughty stuff. So grab your iPhone or a little piece of paper, take some notes and then you know exactly what to have next time you go shopping. Craving this? This means your body is craving magnesium. Try to buy this. If I have nuts in the house, my intake of chocolate dramatically goes down. If I don't have nuts in the house, this is all over my face. So if you don't like nuts, the alternative I would suggest you guys all getting is some dark chocolate. It does actually make you fuller. You can't eat as much of it because it is super rich. Some of you may find you love it, but it's just so much better for you and is much better for your skin also. So try nuts, failing nuts, try dark chocolate, failing that, try dark chocolate with nuts. There's always an alternative. If you're craving sugary foods, then your body is craving carbon, sulfur, and phosphorus, which generally is your fresh fruit. So forget that bullshit about needing five a day. Have as much fruit and veg as you like. Generally more veg than fruit because fruit obviously has natural sugars in it, but it's so much better for you than going and having anything like this. So go and grab as much fruit as you possibly can. Really stock up. Try not to let the juices run over your hand. Um, much better for you and super tasty. If you are craving the good stuff, we're talking pasta, toast, all the good kind of carbs, then it means your body is craving nitrogen, so we really need to increase your high protein food. So we're talking meat. Get as much meat as you can. Red, brilliant. Chicken or quinoa, all these things are really, really good protein foods. So increase your meat and try to stay away from this bad boy no matter how tasty he is. Try to go whole meal if you have to and fresh pasta if you have to. Bread, unless you're really lucky, in which case I hate you, that doesn't blow you out. I would try to stay away from bread, unless you go to a bakery and get really fresh stuff, because nowadays they pump so much crap into our bread that it's really not that good for us. Are you craving really oily, fatty foods? This means your body is craving calcium, so go out there and get some dairy. You want to increase your milk intake, go some milk is great, and then you want to go green. I'm talking every green vegetable you can think of, so asparagus, avocado, spinach, broccoli, as much green, go as green as you can, be like the Hulk. If you're craving really salty foods and your body is craving chloride, so you want to go out there and get yourself some of this, blah, goat's milk. I hate it, but we use it in cooking. Obviously there's almond milk and there's lots of different types, but if you use this in cooking, for your scrambled eggs, for your protein shakes, you don't really taste it, it's not too bad. You might like it, in which case I'm very envious, because for me, what gag reflex. But this is really good for you. So that is the reasons for all your cravings. So now what I want you to do is grab your phones, because we're about to get serious, write this down. C stands for carbonated, so we're talking carbonated drinks, your Cokes, your Dr Pepper, your anything could happen, tastes super good, but it's really, really crap for your body. R is anything refined, so like refined sugars, refined grains, you should be able to see in the ingredients, back the hell away. A, alcohol, fairly self-explanatory, I'm over 21 and yes, I'm gutted because I do like alcohol. Rule of thumb, go for something clear, so vodka, gins, and add it with cranberry, orange juice, Soda and lime, something less calorific. P is for processed. Bin all processed foods, try and make it yourself. It's generally cheaper, you know what you've put into it, and there's less packaging. Food! Okay, this is the good stuff, the stuff I encourage you to have as much of as possible. F, a brilliant letter. This stands for fruit and veg. Forget your five a day shit, it's bullshit. Have as much fruit and veg as you possibly can. Have five a plate, five a meal, Five an hour, whatever you like, it's good for you and you will notice the difference. O is for your omegas, so lots of fish, super good, fish, nuts, do it. O is for organic. Now I know this is costly and I must admit I don't really do organic, but it has less chemicals as much as we don't see them, so we think it doesn't really exist, but they do. So wherever you can, go to a natural farm, go to a market, go organic. A little bit more expensive, but definitely worth it, be much better for you and you will notice the difference in your skin. D, drink more. Oh my God, if I could give one rule of thumb, have a jug of water with lemon in it or have a big bottle of water with you at all times and just drink throughout the day. Drink more, please. So food, no crap, just food. Hope this helps. If you guys enjoy it, give me a thumbs up because I can do so many more on this. Also thinking about maybe uploading two times a week. Uh, um, if I can think of things to say. Um, thinking about changing my process to Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you'd like to watch me on Tuesdays and Fridays instead of Sundays, put a big Tuesday, Friday, no Sunday comment below and I will do it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Cheers, bye. That was really high pitch, bye. Whoa.
ました。